Welcome to the Property Profits Podcast. Thank you so much for jumping on. Here we go. Let's roll with some value today. So today I wanted to talk to you about investing in property virtually, out of state, anywhere. You don't have to have boots on the ground or be there to do it. And I wanted to give you some tips and tricks and some software and some ideas that we personally use to invest in property that is outside of arm's reach. So well, there's an app called Showami. S-H-O-W-A-M-I, I believe. And realtors are a part of that app. And it's in most places from what I run into. Say that you find a property you like, or you want to wholesale it, you want to flip it, whatever. You want to buy it, but you need eyes on it. You don't have to drive there, fly there, anything like that. Download the app, show on me, and just put a request out there to go for somebody to take video. So I'll say, hey, take a video walkthrough, nice and slow of the property. Take pictures of the fronts, the sides, the back, and leave a lockbox if we have to have it under contract. They'll even leave a lockbox. Lockboxes are like 30 bucks. So today we did that. In fact, there's a property outside of Houston. I told the realtor or my transaction coordinator told the realtor, take pictures of the front, sides, back, bathrooms, bedrooms, kitchen, all that. Then go outside, come back in, do a walkthrough video and put a lockbox, meet the owners there to put the key in there. So we did all that for 50 bucks plus the lockbox. So it probably cost us like 80 bucks, but we had all that done virtually. We get eyes on the property and everything. So if it's something we want to move forward with and it's what the sellers told us, we'll get an inspection and go from there. But this is our initial eyes. And I'm okay with paying $100 for some initial eyes on a property. Also get an app like PropStream. There's a lot of them out there. I like PropStream because it gives you all the sold properties so you can run comps really quick and you could do this like on redfin too but if you don't want to invest like 50 bucks a month or whatever it is to have a software so my freaking dog is scratching his bed so sorry about that but anyways yeah prop streams awesome it'll tell you properties that have sold on the mls that have sold like through public sales whatever it'll say what they sold for how long they were on the market before they sold. This is super important data because if you're going to flip a property, you want to know, hey, this might be ARV, but how long did it take for this property to sell at this price point? Oh, it was on the market 140 days. That might be ARV all day long, but it doesn't matter because I don't want to wait 140 days. What property sold within 60 days? What was that price range? That could change things a lot. So you could take that into account. Apps like that will help you. Deal Machine, you could send out postcards. Man, Deal Machine's so freaking awesome. I had their CEO on here a while back and the stuff that they do with that. You could drive for dollars virtually. You could literally go up and down the street, mail. You know, you could pull lists and mail. These are all ways that you can invest virtually. You could do wholesaling, flipping, landlording, whatever virtually. If you're doing landlording virtually, which we do, I'll give you a little tips on that also. So say you buy the property, you want to rent it. You're like, damn, I got to find a local property manager. I don't like dealing with property managers. I literally have a VA do this. She's four bucks an hour. I pay a little bonus whenever all the rents get in. She sends text messages. She sends three-day notices to pay or vacate if you're in Texas. I'm talking about they have similar laws in other red states, meaning landlord friendly, in my opinion. I have a VA handle this. We just have SOPs standard operating procedures for doing this. She'll send the text message out to the tenants. Hey, we haven't received your rent. Where is it? When are you going to pay us? Blah, blah, blah. If they haven't paid after the fifth day, because in our leases, we give them a five-day grace period. They haven't paid by the fifth day. She sends three-day notices to our handyman or our contractors nearby, and they go slap those things up. And usually you train tenants pretty good that way. If not, you evict them, you get better ones in. So these are just some tips for managing virtually, for finding property virtually. Also, another good tip, find a badass local real estate agent. Not always easy, but if you can, I have my go-tos in certain areas, but if you can, that helps tremendously. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a ton out of this episode. If you did, please click like on whatever you're looking at here leave a honest review, share this with friends and family. If you're learning a ton, give me a hell yeah, and just refer the hell out of this. I really love to boost the algorithm, boost this show, get this in front of tons of people. Thank you so much, and until next time, see y'all then.